Hey everyone, welcome back to Devi Technologies. In this video, we are going to implement web chat authentication and call Microsoft Graph API. In our last three videos, we have successfully implemented web chat authentication for single tenant bots, multi tenant bots, and user assigned managed identity bots. So, in this video, we are specifically call Microsoft Graph APIs after we authenticate with Azure Active Directory. Okay, so let's get started. I'll be picking up any of our Azure bot service that we already created in our last three videos. Most probably, I'll choose multi tenant bot for its simplicity. Let me first open the project in Visual Studio. This is a bot framework samples repository. I'll go to samples, C sharp.net core, and this is the sample I'll be picking up. And let's open this project in Visual Studio. So we have three bot services. I'll be going with the multi tenant bot. This is the one. Before starting with the implementation, let us go through the project structure and what all things are new in this project. Here you will see the simple graph client. What it does, it creates the Microsoft Graph client and call the respective APIs. In this case, it is just getting the user details by getting the user profile. Here you can see me. That means whoever logged in as a user the that user's profile will be retrieved from this particular method and it does only single task of getting the current user profile what else is different let's see this is a similar structure nothing is changing except for one dialogue it asks the user, would you like to see the email? Just type me or email. And once we get the command me, it will just get the user details. Okay, it's part of OAuth helpers. What it does, it gets the user profile again and it shows the email address of the user. For list me, it gets the user profile and it shows the display name of the user. So it's just a single call and from the same call, they are just retrieving different properties. Okay. And yeah, that is all here extra, nothing else. It's very simple. Once you get the token, you can use that token to call Microsoft Graph APIs. There are n number of APIs they support where you can interact with all the Microsoft 365 services, including Outlook, Teams. So Outlook and Teams are the most used services that you can interact with. Apart from that, getting user profiles, group details, creating user, deleting user. So all these operations are supported. That means all the admin operations and the user related operations are supported in Microsoft Graph. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead in app settings.json and let's fill out these details.
why I'm deleting one because we can only have two client secrets at a time. For multi tenant bots, the tenant ID will be blank. Let's go back. And let's copy the OAuth connection. So for this particular endpoint that is getting the user's profile, I don't have to specify the scopes because I have already mentioned user.read and email and profile. So all the scopes I already have, so I don't have to add any extra scopes. In the documentation, they mentioned about sending an email. Well, if you would like to send an email through your chatbot, then you need to add the mail scopes accordingly both in the app registration as well as here in the OAuth connection settings all good let's save this and run it I'll enter the client ID and the client secret. Well, I'm sure it will not work because the OAuth URL is quite different when we use localhost. If we use ngrog, then OAuth URL will be coming properly. See, here it's getting OAuth connection and I think this is client ID, I guess not sure. But it doesn't log in the user. So if I use ngrog, then I'll get the proper OAuth URL. But let's cross check if it gets me my name. There you see, it doesn't get me my name. This is actually wrong, you're not logged in. So yeah. So I'll have to use ngrog for this purpose. Once I connect the bot, let's start testing. I log in. And there you see the OAuth sign in URL is correct. I'll sign in, copy the passcode. It's not showing me the login. It only showed me the first time when I was logging in. After that, it will use the same credentials. I copied the passcode, paste it here, and it says you're logged in. Let's get the display name. There we have. Let's start the dialog again. I'll say email, and there we have the email address. So that is all here. Thanks, everyone.